All right, so this is all uh, VST tweets from Waves. This is the whole suite from Waves. And here we go. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh. Seems to be working fine. It looks like it's working fine. plugin seems to be working very fine it's a very popular one let's see if it works it does That works very good. I'm impressed, Waves. It works. Uh, let's see what else. This is going to make me freak out. Let's start stacking them. Keep in mind, this is the first time I opened this plugin. I just installed it. Uh -huh. uh, let's try something else. So, most of Waves plugins are working fine as VST trees. Let's try VST2s and see if they open in VST2s. Um, Wave Shell 11. Let's see, this is clean, nothing else. Let's try 5 filter for DS. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back in the loop. VST2s work as well for me, most of them will. I have yet to see one crash, which is a good thing. Um, let's see. Thirty instances. Um, okay, yeah, it's pretty happy. Let's uh, 
you spend more. Plugins running and CPU is at 70%. Let's do 10 more. Seriously, not bad. So most of the waves, uh, VST2s and VST3s are working perfectly fine on uh, 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 chip, 8 gig RAM, 512 gig SSD. Keep in mind, I'm doing a lot of other t stuff in the background. I'm recording with OBS, installing and downloading some stuff. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And it works pretty well. Like uh the little bit like you know lag on the load uh, of the vst is because it's the first time i'm opening the vst is not caused by the m1 chip uh after opening the vst for more than one time it should be faster usually um this is by the way running ableton live 10 uh being emulated this is the intel version emulated by rosetta 2 and hey so far so good for uh, all of you that uses lots of waves plugin i guess all right, thank you for watching.